Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, August 27th. Today will likely turn out to be the warmest day of the work week. High temperatures approaching the 90 degree mark this afternoon up and down the I-95 corridor between D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. Perhaps even a, a degree or two higher than that, 91, 92 is possible later on this afternoon. But then another more refreshing air mass moves into the mid-Atlantic region for Thursday and Friday. A noticeable drop in humidity values on Thursday and that pleasant weather will continue on Friday as well. This next high pressure system will then move off the northeast coast by the beginning of the weekend. More humid air pushes into the mid-Atlantic region this weekend and the threat for showers and thunderstorms will increase, especially for Sunday, Sunday night time frame, or perhaps even into Labor Day as well. Doesn't look like a total washout on either one of those days, Sunday or Monday, but certainly the threat for some showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-Atlantic region as we uh, progress through the holiday weekend. Well, let's take a look at the current surface map. First of all, Hurricane Cristobal's off the uh, Mid-Atlantic coastline by a few hundred miles. Looks like this is about the closest approach it will make to the coast before it pulls off to the north and east out into the open Atlantic. Meanwhile, upstream from the I-95 card is this weak cool frontal system. Rather slow moving right now and actually stationary in sections. It will make a push right through the uh, I-95 corridor late today, early tonight, perhaps sparking a few showers and thunderstorms. Does not look like a long-lasting heavy rain type of event, but pretty much anywhere up and down the I-95 corridor. There can be a late day or early evening shower or thunderstorm. Then this next high pressure system that had its origins in southwestern Canada will uh, continue to drop to the south and east and control our weather for Thursday and Friday with pleasant conditions. Temperatures will be below normal for this time of the year and humidity levels will noticeably drop between today and tomorrow here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, here's a look at the nationwide radar map from the Mesonet.org uh, website. A couple po areas to point out here. First of all, this little batch of showers and thunderstorms up across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is really all that's associated with this frontal system right now. The models do depict a, a little bit of a, a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm at the end of the day, early tonight, as that weak cool frontal system moves into the uh, I-95 corridor. More significant precipitation out here in the middle part of the country will stay out there for the next uh, a day or two. Meanwhile, an area of interest here in the northwestern part of the Gulf of Mexico. Yesterday we talked about kind of an increasing favorability for tropical storm development in the Gulf of Mexico region over the next week or so. And indeed, this is an area of interest, kind of a batch of showers and thunderstorms in the northwestern part of the, of the Gulf of Mexico. It doesn't have much room for a development before it's likely to move into Texas as an area of some uh, uh, moderate to heavy rainfall, perhaps, over the next day or two. But again, this is an area of interest as far as uh, tropical development is concerned in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. And that area, the entire Gulf of Mexico region, will be an area to monitor over the next week to 10 days or so. Well, here's the latest look at the infrared satellite imagery loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website. On both edges here, we have hurricanes. This is Hurricane Cristobal. Uh, I believe it's 80 mile per hour or 85 mile per hour sustained winds right now. Again, this is about the closest it will come to the mid-Atlantic coast, right about in this area right here before it starts to turn to the northeast and accelerates out into the open Atlantic over the next day or two. So there certainly can be some rough surf for the next couple of days along the uh, east coast, but this will stay well east of the coastline and pull out into the open Atlantic over the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Way out here over the Pacific, this is Hurricane Marie, continues to pull away from the U.S. or uh, from the Baja California region as it turns to the north and west. Meanwhile, here in the mid-Atlantic region, plenty of sunshine, some clouds upstream associated with that weak cool frontal system. We'll see kind of a buildup of clouds uh, later today into uh, uh, the early evening hours. And again, there can be some scattered showers and thunderstorms at the end of the day into the early part of the night, probably in the time range of 4 or 5 p.m. to about 9 p.m. or so is the best chance 
for a shower or a thunderstorm in the I-95 corridor. Not all areas will get hit. Certainly there can be some areas that remain completely rain-free during this frontal passage early tonight. Well, let's take a look at a few computer forecast maps from last night's Zero-Z GFS Global Forecast System model run. We'll look at this evening, Wednesday evening, and then 24 hours later, Thursday evening and Friday evening. The area to focus on for us in the Mid-Atlantic region is this high-pressure system over the Great Lakes early this evening. Again, uh, here's a little bit of precipitation in the form of scattered showers and thunderstorms depicted here by the GFS model run for late today, early tonight, associated with that weak frontal passage. This high will move in behind it, providing nice weather conditions for Thursday and Friday. Meanwhile, crystal ball, right now, hurricane status, uh, Category 1, makes its closest approach to the uh, Outer Banks, which is still several hundred miles off the coast here before it starts to turn to the north and east over the next 24 hours or so, accelerating into the open Atlantic. Meanwhile, in the northwestern Gulf, some moisture here depicted by the GFS model run as this area, this disturbance, has to be monitored over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Now here's the forecast map for tomorrow evening, Thursday evening. That high pressure starts to edge into the northeastern part of the country. Crystal ball pulls out into the open northern Atlantic. Meanwhile, that area of precipitation in the northwestern Gulf pushes into Texas and perhaps Louisiana, and it just does not have a, a lot of time for it to really develop into a tropical storm, but we'll still monitor it as, again, conditions are rather favorable for some kind of tropical storm development, uh, not only today, but really looks like for the next week to 10 days or so. Let's now jump ahead another 24 hours. And here's the forecast map for Friday evening. And notice that high pressure system that by this evening will be centered over the Great Lakes pushes all the way to the coastline, the northeast coastline, by Friday evening. Indeed, it continues to move off the coast, and that will open the door for a southwesterly flow of air into the I-95 car, into the Mid-Atlantic region for the upcoming holiday weekend. And notice a lot of uh, activity here in the form of showers just to the southwest by a Friday evening and all of this unsettled weather will be moving to the north and east once that high pulls off the coast that will open the door for more humid conditions on Saturday and certainly Sunday will be very warm and humid with the chance for showers and thunderstorms and it looks like it may turn a little bit cooler on Monday but still the chance for a shower or a thunderstorm on Monday as well so increasingly unsettled for this upcoming holiday weekend. That's it for now. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorsey.